Hi, guy. Oh, my hand's shaking too much. I'll throw it right here. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee, and it is so nice to meet you. Today, we're doing a... Q&A. <laughs> like, no! <laughs> we're doing a dorm room shopping vlog, so I'm going to be going dorm room shopping with my mom and grandma and getting some stuff, so I'm going to take you along the ride with me. So, without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. <laughs> Go have fun today. I will. You're on I my vlog. I say two thumbs up. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I go get to go enjoy. with my granddaughter shopping. Yeah. Now we're going to Ross. Nana wants to get some clothes. Yes, I do. I don't really know what I'm looking for, but we'll see what happens <laughs> when I get in here. Dorm room shopping is hard when you have a roommate and you don't yes. know what they're going to get. So I just need to meet her so that I can... Go shopping with her, maybe. That'll yeah, be the first time we hang out. Yeah. So go shopping for a room together. Things acquired. A desk chair and a desk lamp in the cart. So far, so good. Now we're at Target, obviously. My favorite place. And this is where we're going to get most things because this is just the dorm place to go to. Don't discredit the dollar section. There's good stuff in there, I'm telling you. These are three dollars, so we're gonna get that. It's not on my list, but I mean, that could help us out somehow. We're getting all the personal care items, like flossers and soap and all those things. And first aid kits, right there, that's what we need. The goods, Nana. There's a lot of good stuff in here. I don't even know how to show this all. You'll see later. <laughs> I feel like I'm adulting. Is this what adulting is like? Yes, you're adult. This is my favorite section, everyone. The school supplies. Oh my gosh, there's actual lockers. Oh, that's cute. I got a bunch of stuff. I got it all. I'm ready. This is the final product of everything we got. I'll just show you guys later because, I mean, it's just too hard when it's all, like, in this cart. But we got all kinds of stuff. All the stuff for, like, $250. Go to Target. It's a good idea. I recommend. So, this half of the video is going to be a haul of the things that I got. And I just feel like this could be helpful for you if you're moving into dorms or an apartment or something. Because there's a lot of things that you need to get and it's easy to forget some things. So I'm just going to show you the things that I got in this first section of things is going to be personal care items. So the first thing is just some soap because of course. Then I got some flossers because I don't like the dentist and I don't want to go to the dentist. Then I got these two medicine items. So this one's an allergy medicine because I have really bad allergies and ibuprofen. Then we got some pads because that's essential and a shampoo and conditioner. And this last box I didn't get from Target like the rest of these things. This box is actually from doTERRA which is a essential oils brand that my mom is actually a wellness advocate of. I couldn't think of the name. So I'm just going to show the things that I got from doTERRA because this is like my first doTERRA kit. I've always used my mom's stuff. So I'm going to bring this with me. The first thing I got is the On Guard throat drops. These are just helpful for me when I have a sore throat or my voice just hurts from singing. It really just 
no, that's not the word. It protects your throat and just makes it, it soothes it and makes it feel better. Then I got these two little bottles of soft gels. It's just like pills, except they're soft. <laughs> um, and they're Tri-Ease and On Guard. The Tri-Ease is an allergy one just for allergies and the On Guard one is just for an immune booster. So I use both of these pretty frequently. Then I got this deep blue rub. This is just good for sore muscles or cramps or any of those types of situations. It's just like a cream that you just rub wherever you're having pain. And the last thing that I got is this Family Essentials Kit and it just has all of the 10 basic go-to essential oils. So the ones that are included in this kit are lavender, lemon, peppermint, breathe, deep blue, melaleuca, frankincense, oregano, digestin, and on guard. So if you want to know what those do, you can just ask me in the comment section below because I don't want to go into all of that right now. But that is all of the personal care, self-care type of things that I got. And the next area that we're going to go into is school supplies. So starting on school supplies, I didn't really get a lot of the notebooks or binders or those types of things because I don't really know exactly what I'm going to need. I don't know how this new school works with that kind of stuff. So I kind of just got the basic essential type of things. Okay, the first thing that I got is the paper mate pens and then I don't know what brand this is, but these are colored pens. My advisor told me to get colored pens just for when you're writing out different classes and stuff. Just have a color for a class that's assigned to that class so that everything you write down is in that color so that, I don't know, it's good for your brain or whatever the explanation was that she explained. She just said that and I thought it was good. It sounded very organized to me, so I wanted to do that. And I guess... <coughs> I just got some pencils and a pencil sharpener, pretty basic. I don't like mechanical pencils, so I use the regular ones. Then I got a stapler and a three-hole punch, just some push pins, tape, Sharpies, and then we just have these at my house. These are index cards because I use index cards all the time. So those are the things that I got. Oh wait, I'm missing some stuff. So the last couple of things that I have for school supplies is this bunch of paper, a folder, this lunch pail, which is going to be useful for when I have to come to work because my work is not close to my school. So sometimes I need to pack a lunch. So that's what I'll use this for. And I do have an expandable little file here. It's for all of the like adult type of papers I need to keep, just things that are important. I'm gonna keep in this little folder. So that is it for school supplies. Now we're gonna move on to the things for my room. I got some towels, washcloths, and ha hand towels. The reason why I got gray is just cause I feel like I will get these dirty versus I probably won't get my regular towels dirty. So they don't necessarily match, but hopefully my roommate is okay with that. Then I got this little pink and gold desk lamp. Those are the colors I'm going to be really doing in my dorm is pink and gold. And this is from Ross actually. This and the chair, which I'm not going to show because that's heavy. They're both from Ross. I already saw that chair in the vlog portion so I didn't think I needed to show that. Then I have this little three hook hanger just for over our bathroom door for our towels. Just got these little hangers. I know they look weird but they're actually for accessories which I thought could be useful. So I'm just gonna use that. And the last thing I actually got this in the three dollar section. It's not necessarily a dollar at Target but I'm gonna say it's the three dollar section but it's just this little whiteboard thing but it has this cork board at the bottom where you can use thumbtacks in so it's like two in one and I thought that could be helpful. The last section is not necessarily room stuff it's more like home stuff so that's the biggest section we're gonna look at today. To give you a little bit of an idea of the type of dorm that I'm gonna be staying in we do have our own bathrooms in our dorm so we have a shower a toilet and a sink so those are things that I bought like cleaning supplies for and everything because we want to make sure they stay clean. And I'm also going to bring a fridge and a microwave. So I'm going to have the ability to keep some food in my room. So that stuff 
is kind of what I have here. But I'm just going to go ahead and start showing you some things. First off, I got some tissues, toilet paper, and paper towels. The reason why these are ripped is because my lovely brother decided to rip them. So hopefully they stay intact enough that I can take them to my dorm. Then I got some paper bowls and paper plates. And what's the other thing? And some utensils. So all those things I'm going to be using. As far as food storage goes, I have some little Ziploc bags, some foil, more Ziploc bags. And we do have some trash bags here because we're going to have, you know, trash cans in there. We also have laundry machines in our dorm halls. So I have some laundry detergent for that and some OxyClean because I pretty much seen every article of clothing that I have. So this OxyClean is my best friend. Then as far as cleaning goes, I have some wipes and some glass cleaner. I think I'm gonna get a Swiffer mop too for the floors. And the last couple things are really miscellaneous. This is just some hand soap for a sink, a first aid kit, which could be useful if I ever hurt myself. And I have some tea, which I actually drink tea pretty often. It's really good for being a singer and also when you're getting sick. So I just have this Echinacea tea. And then I got my own little tea kettle right here that I can just heat up some water in my room and then make myself some tea. <laughs> that sounded like I had an accent. Well, if I didn't mention this before, I'm gonna leave the list that I'm gonna be buying stuff off of, basically my dorm checklist of what I need to get in the description box below so that if you need to get things and you don't really know where to start, you can look at that list. It's definitely not a complete list and the reason why is because some of the things on that list I already have, so I didn't need to buy them. So don't use that list for like your end all list. Make sure you find some other ones, but I think it's a pretty thorough list of things to get for your dorm room or apartment. So that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do those for you. That's it. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye, guys.